today. So we're going to be doing owls. So let me go over everything you're going to need before we get started on our craft. So we're going to need a toilet paper roll, a piece of paper. Now this paper, I chose it to be white because I want my owl to be um, a snowy white owl, but whatever color you would like your owl to be, you can pick whatever color paper you want. We're going to get some nice glue and some scissors and get some fun googly eyes for your owl, of course. And lastly, go ahead and grab some different color markers. Um, and I will say that you can substitute the markers for paint if you would rather paint your owl instead of decorate it with markers. So that part is totally up to you um, with whatever your child prefers. All right, so go get everything ready and we're gonna get going. So step one is gonna be making our owl's body. And we're gonna do that by taking scissors and cutting out our piece of paper and then rolling it onto our cardboard. Now, we can do that a couple different ways. We can do that with a little bit of glue, not too much because we don't want it to soak through, um, to attach the ends of the paper. Or if you have some tape and you wanna go the less messy route, um, you can also just tape it in the back as well. Got my paper all cut out to fit my toilet paper roll. And now I'm gonna roll it right around. And once again, as I said, this is where you can add a little glob um, of glue right here to seal it over. Or if you prefer, you can simply just use tape to put in the back. So we have our owl body. Now we're gonna go ahead and work on our owl's wings and our owl's ears. So we're gonna go ahead and take that same piece of paper that we just cut out the body. Um, and we're going to first cut out two small little triangles for its ears. So keep in mind, you don't want them to be too big since we're going to be gluing them right on top here. So whatever size you want, as long as they're not too large, you can go ahead and cut out some triangles. So I'm gonna add two very, very tiny globs of glue on either side of the top of its head to put its ears. Once again, you wanna go pretty light with the glue because you don't want it to soak through and make a mess. Now that my owl ears are glued on, we're going to go back to that piece of paper and we're going to cut out an oval shape um, for its wings for either side. What I prefer to do is simply fold this so that whatever shape I cut out um, is exactly the same for both sides. You can see I'm cutting uh, from the base of that paper so that the end will be a nice sharp edge to tape onto the toilet paper roll. Before I glue these wings on, I wanted to add just a little decoration to them so you can uh, paint on them or use markers or do whatever you want to do with those wings. Um, and now I'm going to add a little glob of glue and I'm going to put it just behind right here so that um, they're not sticking out too much. And I'm going to also face them down a little bit just like this when I glue them. Now before we head on to the next step with decorating more, go ahead and let those ear pieces and wings dry for a little bit. I would give it five to 10 minutes of drying. I've been letting my owl sit and dry for a little bit and now the wings and ears are pretty solid. So I went ahead and I added two more globs of glue onto my owl face and put some googly eyes on. So owls are known for those big, large eyes. So make sure the googly eyes you choose are nice and big. You take an orange marker and draw the beak directly underneath the eyes. And it's gonna look like an upside down triangle. All right, so it's starting to look even more like a snowy owl or whatever color you used for your owl in that case. 
So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna color in his belly. So once again, you can use paint instead for this if you don't wanna use markers, um, but you can choose whatever color you want. And we're gonna do um, a bunch of little mini, essentially they're like the letter U. So we'll do a, a line of little tiny U's um, in different rows down his belly. I'll show you what that looks like. So now his belly is all done and he's starting to look more like a snowy owl. So once again, you can decorate however you want. Um, really the options are endless, but this is just what I personally did, but feel free to be creative and do whatever you want with his feathers on his tummy or um, however you want to decorate his wings even. Thank you guys so much for doing this craft with me today. I hope you had a fun time. I hope your owl turned out just the way you wanted. I'm really liking my little snowy owl here. <laughs> Thanks again for tuning in and I will see you next time. Take care, bye.